So this is Brian Baker here with Hunt Fish Camp. I make a lot of fishing videos, a few hunting videos, and this will be really the first of our camping videos. We are hiking the Ice Age Trail. We have 16 middle school students uh, and a few teachers that uh, came along, and long, uh, as well as a few other additional adults came to help out. And we are hiking a little less than 35 miles over the course of uh, three days. So, putting the work in. We wear them down each day, camp at night. It's all worth it in the end. This is beautiful out here right now. We are on our practice hikes before the trip. We are hiking four and a half miles today. Get used to the packs, make sure everything fits right before we uh, head up to the Ice Age Trail and then we'll be doing 12-ish eh, miles each day of a lot more up and down. This is mostly flat, so this is way easy compared to what we're gonna be doing. Bear. Dropping vehicles off before we get to We are at the entrance of the trail. Kind of. Oh, it has a tiny little screen on it. It does. Isn't it cute? Some, some people put their packs nine miles down the trail. It's actually eight. Eight miles down the trail. Some of us have to carry important medical things and all this other stuff. And so we can't do that. We carry our pack. This is going on the YouTube channel. I have to carry my pack the full way. Others do not. Subscribe, subscribe. Line up. Okay. Here we go. This is day one. Ice Age Trail. Nine miles today? Nine miles today. Nine miles today. 11 or 12 tomorrow. I don't know. Keep going each day. Woo! We are off onto the Ice Age Trail. 16 kids. Five adults. Six adults? I don't know. Three teachers, I guess. And a few extras. Help us along. Hiking down the trail. A shaky video because I'm walking. Hopefully they're all back there. Hi, Maisie. Come here. Oh, don't pull her into the mud. Yesterday she rolled in the mud. Oh, nice. Hi. 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 Yeah, normally we eat lunch here. We did get going earlier this year. Let's eat lunch here again. We can. I feel like we should do it. Oh. Well, we will, but we'll take a little break, let everyone catch up. We decide if we want to eat actual lunch. Okay, how's it going so far? Before I shut it off. Yeah? Subscribe. Subscribe. This is so weird. It's going to cut all that out. Brayden, how did we find you after you were lost? Whistle. You got to blow it. No, I have to blow through the whistle. I pulled did it first. Did everybody get lost? Well, no, I did not get lost. Some people got lost because no, some not. people led us in the wrong direction. Lost. We, 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 we were like in the way back. Here you go. We were in the way front and we had passed Don't everybody. follow people blindly. Yeah. Always be watching for markers. Like this. Here's a trail marker. So they ended up off the trail. Right there. Here we go. Trail marker. And it's Julian. Do not trust anybody. No. This is like Survivor. I don't even yeah. trust myself. Oh, oh. Hello. No we thought we maybe lost you. <laughs> just kidding. We, just we didn't. We know. We there. know how you hiked, Dolly. It's all good. <laughs> how you doing? We didn't get lost. I noticed the markers. Cool. Our difficult water crossing was dry this year. It was not so difficult, oh, yeah. For a friend. Take what your packs off, take a little break. All right. 
when you hike the Ice Age Trail, this is the kind of stuff you get to do. Yep. Sometimes there's nice trail, okay. and sometimes there's not. Oh boy, you need a walking stick. I do need a walking stick. I also need to get a walking stick. Okay, I'm gonna go after Katie so I can record Tula falling in. It is not hard, it is very soft after that point there. And the logs are slippery. That's what I did. See? You're such a good teacher maker. Oh, slippery. Did you watch? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, I guess. <laughs> You're just a good problem solver. Good job. Hey, this one Life lessons. Coming good. up now. There's a stick right here, so you can... Mm -hmm. No blowing I'll whistles you. unless you're actually lost. What did... But it's not a whistle, it's a flute. Why oh, did... God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. Good job, Ben. Yeah. You made it. <clears throat> right now I'm banking on Bennett slipping to fall and then he's gonna grab garbage in front of him and rip him down. Nope. Nope, made it. Oh, okay, nice. No, I made it. Oh, absolutely zero dog. Yeah, usually by this point I have a walking stick. I don't have one today. That's... Nice job, Julian. Nice, nice recovery. It was. Okay, Julian, you gotta stop, and you're gonna have to show me your arm here in a second. Okay. Hiking like the Ice Age Trail. It's a little overgrown, but. Oh. But not bad. All right, we are recording. How's it going down there? Pretty good. Yeah, okay. Sweet. We've gone a few miles. I don't know how far, actually. Like four, like three and a half. four miles, three and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know, ask Katie. She's really so, our first nice water crossing. So there's some water, so we are gonna pump some water out of there. Not a lot, but there is enough. Lunching? We are lunching. When? Here's right now. now. With the... Off to the next checkpoint. The... Some are Good still back there. There they go. Never to be a scene again. How you doing? Tired. I think we're a little over halfway now. Nice. We'll be there soon. We're a little over. We have a pretty steady pace. That again took us 25 minutes-ish. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. Well, it seemed like that one was further, but it was similar to the last one. Yeah. It's a very good luck, by the way, oh. your uh, bug gnat. I know. It's amazing. A dog does not come soon. Three more miles? Let's record looking at the mountain. Oh, can you see that through the bag? Not all that well. We started down here. We have gone up. We stopped and ate lunch at the bridge, crossed the first forest road, second forest road, we just crossed winter road, and now we've got a couple miles to get to Sawyer Avenue, which will be our next little break. And then we're camping at TA28, so then another mile past that. Alrighty, we made it to camp. Barely. Woo Barely? No, no. I think we're good. It is 3.30 in the afternoon. What time did we start walking? It was like 9.24. 9.24? So 9.30 to 3.30. Last year we got here later. Last year we got here like later. Yeah, like, yeah. It was starting to get dark. We started a lot later that year. We were, we're in the, we're I don't know. Subway. We're just, yep. We're dry only. Cool. What do you mean? Let's check it out. Subway. Took some effort. It's a little breezy, so it took some effort getting my hammock set up without it tipping over. Here we go. Sleep in my little hammock tent. Kate's okay, got a real tent. I should probably zip my tent up, actually. And it was mosquitoes in it. Camp tour! We're we'll going on this side. Here we go. Subscribe! Subscribe! Smash that like button! This is so funny. Here we go. Tents, tents, tents. Howdy. Ethan, do you have enough snacks? Yes. Good lord. Crazy. Um, we're Crazy people. We're probably going to be guard by today. What? Nothing. You thought there would? You can see the lake behind us in this <laughs> awesome little point. We basically spread out through the whole thing. And... 
Jones is down there. But cool. Baker, you help me set my tent. Nope. Please. Nope. You gotta do it on your own or find your group. They're gonna also but should tent. It's the only problem with this site. It's hard to tell on camera, but that is really steep down there to get to the water. Fastest way really to go down there is by rolling. By rolling. That. There you go. Ethan says roll. Roll down there with a water filter. Get your water. Be all good. Also, I wanted to go. Bone appetite. Bone smack the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weirdest group of people ever. We are camping on that side. Decided to come check out the campsite on this side. Has much, much nicer and easier water access. And not a lot of space for tents right here. A road. There's a, we're not, we're, we're not quite on the tent yet. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. We'll just ignore the rowdy kids <laughs> on the other side. Oh, so this is just a water path. That's what we're on. That so is, maybe. Oh, yeah, there's a bench. Oh, my gosh. A bench. Oh, man. I should move over here. Bench, easy water access. Oh, look at the path, the roads right there. Here we go. I don't know if we get all the tents over here. We'd, yeah, for us, that'd be it tough. It would be horrid if you had to be here. Yeah, tent pad wise, there's really only a few spots. It's this side, you get the pathway back behind you, horse trail. But it's nice. Cats or dogs? Both. If you had to pick one. Probably a dog. Wow. Win. Uh, and knowing what you know now, what do you dread about tomorrow? People. The people? The people. Uh -huh. Is that why you walk so fast? Yes. Also known as Alpha Dog. Yep. Leader of the pack. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Hey, yo. Hey. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Oh Two. I'll keep I'll keep a tally in the video, so it's okay. Knowing what you know now, what do you dread about tomorrow? Just kidding. That's too negative. What are you excited about for tomorrow? The the creek that we can stick our feet in. Oh, the creek is fantastic. I think it's the Yellow River. I don't know which. Uh, we'll have to look at a map. See. Mm -hmm. Knowing what you know now, what do you dread about tomorrow? Dread. Yeah, dread. You're negative, Nancy. <laughs> Um, probably actually having to carry my pack the whole way. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not judging. Fine. Also, for the record, you didn't ask me because you know because I no would cares. say cats. Okay. Cats. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Unreal. Ooh, I've been here before. So what are you most excited about for tomorrow? The river and catching more frogs. The river and frogs. Awesome. Yay. Uh -huh. Cats or dogs? Cats. Dogs. Other cats. That's Thank, okay. you. Thank you. Gentlemen, it's fine. Thank you. Uh, and knowing what you know now, what do you dread most about tomorrow? My this pack is your first and time. Walking. Your pack and walking. We should make sure we look at your waist straps and adjustments. Okay. Cats or dogs? Uh, dogs? Yes. I have a dog. Well, you can still like cats. It's fine. Uh, no, I'm, I don't like cats at all. Oh, see, I don't mind cats, but uh, no. definitely prefer dogs as well. Okay. And what are you most excited about for tomorrow? Yeah, um, my supper is spicy mac and cheese. Oh, okay. So something to get you through the day, looking for yeah, that last meal. Yeah, looking forward to that, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cats okay. or dogs? <laughs> dogs. Awesome. And yeah. knowing what you know now, what do you yeah, uh, dread most about tomorrow? Uh, probably getting the hike done. Just getting it done? Yeah. Have you heard any good things about tomorrow? No. Oh. The river. We, the good the things. River. The good things are that uh, we said day one is always the hardest. So the that's good. I made it. Up. All right, B Dubs. Cats or dogs? Yeah, cats. Cats. Okay. And knowing what you know now, what do you dread most about tomorrow? Yes. Everything. <laughs> okay. There you have it, folks. Okay. Cats or dogs? Uh, cats for sure. Dogs. Okay. We got. Uh, hey, a, Dan. 
a wash right here. Yeah. And knowing what you know now, first timers, uh, what do you dread about tomorrow? Come on. Walking. Just the walking? Uh, yeah. Pills. I guess, well, there's nothing I really dread. I'm just That's glad good. that I don't have to carry the tent tomorrow. Ooh, oh, okay. okay, going positive. Nice. I like it. Oh. Same man. Cats or dogs? Uh, dogs, obviously. They're better. Awesome, oh, okay. And uh, knowing what you know now, well, this isn't really your first time, though, is it? Okay, so what are you looking forward to for tomorrow? Nerd clusters. <laughs> I love nerd clusters. Yeah. Cats or dogs? Don't uh, Dogs. All right, sweet. And knowing what you know now, what do you dread about tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. Okay, how are you feeling at this moment after today? Good. Good. We got it. Okay. What, Ben? I need help cleaning. Help cleaning the filter? Yeah. Okay. Lexi. Hola. What's up? Cats or dogs? Uh, cats inside, dogs outside. Oh, okay. Uh, what are you most excited about for tomorrow? Uh, the big rest stop. Perfect. And uh, how are you feeling after day one? Um, pretty good. I just need sleep and caffeine, probably. Hmm, that's good. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Awesome. How are you feeling after day one? Good. Good. Uh, what are you dreading most about tomorrow? <laughs> Nothing. Perfect. We are going to Bricks. Slash Cookie Monster. Slash Cookie Monster. Cats. Look at Harry Tent. Cat, no, I want to look at your tent right now. There's socks in it. Ooh, tent. Okay, cats or dogs? Depends on the scenario. <laughs> cats or dogs? Cats. Oh, okay, I don't have to be dogs. Okay, dog. Oh, good. Don't Did tell my even? cats. I won't tell your cats, don't worry. Okay. I promise, unless they watch YouTube. Uh, and how are you feeling after day one? Amazing. Better than last year because I pack lighter. Oh, that's good. I packed one pound heavier. But and how are you feeling? Same. But you had the tent, so I have the tent tomorrow. I see, okay. And I what are you most excited about for tomorrow? Oh, uh, the bridge. Yeah, the At bridge. The, mm. We have some nice memories there. Everybody loves the bridge. Last year was raining more there. Tomorrow I don't think it will be, so no, it should be just nice and like laid out our zipping bags to dry. Oh, was it? Hmm? I thought it rained. It I thought did. it was like but oh. it rained all the way there and then it Oh yeah, okay. It was weird. So yeah, last year's weird weird year, it like rained a little bit and then the sun would come up. Cats or dogs? Cats. Another cats. And knowing what you know now, what do you dread most about tomorrow? Uh, uh, walking. Just the walking. And after day one, how do you feel? My legs hurt. Cool. I do. Same. Thanks, Carter. Guess what? Uh, you want a million dollars, and you want to give half of it to me. What? Guess what? My Fitbit was rude enough five minutes ago. To tell you to be more active? To tell me that I had to move 250 <laughs> You should have come with to check out the other campsite. <laughs> All right, Jared. Oh, cats or dogs? Oh, dogs. Yes. Another one rooting for you, Maisie. Yes, you're adorable. And uh, what are you looking forward to most for tomorrow? Sitting around like this tomorrow night. Yes. And tomorrow night's campsite is kind of awesome, actually. It is kind of cool. It's even better for this than this spot here. Except for the bears. It's pretty nice. Well, the bears, it's... I mean, they usually just take one of the little ones, so... Be fine. That's why we sit David. in a huddle. That's why we sit in a huddle. David was gone last Dahlia! Yeah? Cats or dogs? Cats. <laughs> and, okay, knowing what you know now, what do you dread most about tomorrow? No. Just no? It's the second no we've had. Oh, you're right. Cats or dogs? Dogs, 100%, definitely. They're so much better than cats in every single way. Because dogs love you and want to make you happy. What cat hurt you? Yeah, you've never Sophie. Met my cat. Sophie. Sophie, my cat, hurt me. She hurt my feelings. She'd be like, oh, Sophie, I want to pet you. And she's like, no. And then two minutes later, she's like, you pet me now or I'm going to bite your face. Get a better cat. I'm sorry, you have yeah, a bad cat. That's have what, yeah. Cat. We got rid of that one. And then I got a dog. Better cat. All right. Ben is pumping water. How exciting. It does yeah. happen. Ben, cats or dogs? Dogs? Cats, for sure. Oh, okay. Cats are way better. And after day one, how are you feeling? Good. Okay. Very and tired, though. Very tired. That's yeah. good. And knowing what you know now, it's your first trip. What do you dread most about tomorrow? Um, probably walking. Just the walking in general? Yeah. We have to go a little further tomorrow. You can be able to handle it? Hopefully. I hope so, too. There we go. The boy's doing work. Nice. Alrighty, we are on day two. Marching along. Spirit, they're doing pretty good.
pretty good. Everyone's a little sore and hurting from yesterday, but overall, doing okay. Let's roll. Up the hill. All right, guys, why are we standing here? Because no, no, right. like Ethan's yeah, gone. We'll find him. We got him. That's right. It's always the government. Here we go. Here's the trail. Logging operation ahead. I don't think you can hear it on the GoPro, but it is a sound to be heard. Look at that. You can even see trees going down. So we're not going that way. Uh, it does have a little map for reroute. It's going to take us an extra couple miles. When you're hiking 12, what's another two? Pretty good. Julian's excited about it. We get to go places we have never gone before on this trip. So that's exciting for me. We get a new trail. You can't see my smile. We are, yeah, we go up the big hill. The big hill's after lunch. Are we eating lunch right now? No. What's for lunch? Oh my gosh, Ben, you have the most questions. Yeah, I know That you should already know the answer to of anybody I know. How's everybody holding up? If your pack's too heavy on your shoulders, like just raise it up and tighten the hip straps for a little bit. Let it sit off of it. But. My hips got really sore and like bruised up. Here we go. Made it to the south fork of the Yellow River. If you're here and you need to pump water, it's a really good place to pump water. Sit on the bridge, pump your water. All right, go back up. Let's roll. We got a little baby one. Oh Look at his tiny little pinchers. He's so tiny. Okay. Down the creek, Wait, there are lots of crayfish. Got one? Yeah, I got one too. Right now show them, I'm recording. Okay, show off your crayfish catches. Here we go, hanging out in the Yellow River, catching crayfish. And in some cold water. It feels pretty good, even though it's a chilly day. Alright, can you guys show me your crayfish? Here we go, we got a good one. Yeah, Ethan's got one over there too. Nice. How's it going on the bridge? He was so good. My toes are wet. Sweet. Made it to our day two campsite. How exciting. Let's do some interviews. Okay, here we go. Trail name? Alpha Dog. How'd you get it? I'm always in the front. And do you think it still applies? Yes. Perfect. Always ahead of us. Yep. Taking the lead. Mm -hmm. Trail name? Uh, frizz because last year I got my hair all frizzy because I have curly hair and I brushed it. Right there on that yep. very bridge. Uh -huh. Wow, exciting. Yeah. It was beautiful. Also? Also jeans because I hike in jeans the entire time. Also cousin it because I looked like cousin it with my hair. And muscles because because you're ripped. Uh, yep. Not, no, not really, but. Not as much as Mr. Baker. Not as uh, much as me, but we're not gonna, not here to talk about me right now. <laughs> uh, Midway from last year. I haven't and it's, had one. And does it still apply? No. I've, I got bricks, because I put bricks in my backpack when I was training, because I needed some weight. And then, both years, it still applies. And then I have Cookie Monster, because I can't eat without spilling. <laughs> <laughs> it's factual. Do you guys have chill names yet? I do. Shower cap. Shower cap? Mm -hmm. Alright, how'd you get it? Because I put my rear tarp backpack thingy on. Oh, uh, okay. I like That's it. That's stuck. That's stuck. Excellent. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay. I know yours. Mm -hmm. Deforestation what is man. Deforestation man. Mm -hmm. Why'd you get that? Because I cut down trees. Awesome. Is it still fitting? <laughs> I'd say so. Okay. Okay, since we're doing trail names, I'll do mine. So my uh, official trail name is One Speed. It was given to me by Ron in Alaska because I kind of just have one speed. I'm go, go, go all the time. And so he used to call me One Speed. And I do that on trails here. So that still fits. Uh, 
The other one here is sidewalk because our hike is just like walking on a sidewalk. At least that's what I say. And the other one is a chameleon that was given to me today by some of these yahoos over here, I think. Oh, yesterday. Oh, okay. Because I blend in with all the kids. So small but mighty. Yes. Perfect. How's it going? Subscribe, smash that like button. It's weird. Who did I not interviewed yet? Um. Me. I did you. Yeah. Okay, Bennett. Like the nickname? What is your trail name? The King. Awesome. And how did you get that name? Um, his full name. So yeah, my full name. Which, which is amazing. Charles Bennett Bossy and the Third. Perfect. Woo! And you're the best. I am the best. So it makes sense. Do you think find that your trail name is fitting? Yes. Perfect. Okay, exactly. There you go. So I should be treated like. Adric. Twinkle Toes, now what is no. it? Monkey Toes. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> What's your trail name? Monkey Toes. And how'd you get that? Um, I have really big feet and I could pick stuff up with them. That's pretty exciting. Can you... Trail name? Hair tie. Awesome. And how'd you get it? You should probably have Jared tell the story. Okay. So we had just had a, uh, a pack shakedown with, uh, you know, minimalizing everything in our pack. And mm -hmm. she's like, can you get this out of my, out of my pack? And she had like 50 of them in a bag in her, in her, in her day pack. So. But I need that hair, many. Hair tie was, <laughs> was what it was. You never know what a hair tie will be useful. I always have two in my hair at all times. So you're saying it's a fitting name. It is. Okay. It is accurate. And Good. it's on my pack. Nice. What's that? You can use hair ties for multiple uses. You really yeah, could. I need one for my tourniquet or anything. My name is uh, trail name is Scooter. I acquired it uh, from using a moped to shuttle, and uh, I don't think they ever that person ever called a moped a moped, so it was Scooter. What about Wilder Muff? Well, there is a there is also a variation of a second trail name running around called Milo, M Wilder Wilder Muth, Muth, Wilder Muth um, where they spelled my name wrong in an article, and I need to take <laughs> credit for it. So this is now a second trail name. <laughs> so hey. sounds good. Jones, you don't even have one yet. No, it's surprising. Dewey. 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 Oh, what? Dewey. Dewey, because I carry my Mountain Dews. <laughs> For the, listening for the extra whip. When he's done. <laughs> <laughs> Get on it. <laughs> Maisie, do you have a trail name? Mouser. <gasps> it's Mouser. You do have a trail name. How did you get that name, Maisie? Because she eats so many mice. That's exciting. She Good was for you. eating a mouse a mile one day. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah. That's impressive. <laughs> hey, Olsen. Hi. Do you have a trail name? Um, I was just gifted the name Bubbles. Bubbles? <laughs> and why were you gifted that name? Um, Lily, why was I gifted that name? Because you're like a bubbly person. Because I'm a bubbly person. Oh, that's exciting. Do you find that fitting? Yes. And that's what my farts sound like. <laughs> that's what my farts sound like. <laughs> Truth! How about it's what? Lumpy just ran his head into the bridge three times in a row. Oh, Lumpy. Because you, you can actually see a lump on his head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yikes. We're to Tula. You need what am I supposed lighter? to say? You gotta say what your trail name is. Smoke Break. How did you get the trail name Smoke Break? Because I was carrying my cards in my pocket. And, and a lighter. Like, everybody thought they looked like cigarettes. Because they do. Yeah. They're poker cards. This is not an endorsement for smoking. It's bad for you. Don't do it. That's Don't be like Tula. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jay and Dahlia. Huh? Jolene. I don't remember. Mine's bugs. Bugs. Mm -hmm. And right now it's both. You're both bugs, yeah. but uh, mainly Shay is bugs. The two G's. <laughs> We're still working on that. Yeah. One. We'll keep you posted on that one too. Ben, I need you. Because I have to interview you. Ben, what is your trail name? Trip. Trips. Trips. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> and how'd you get that name? Because I trip a lot. But only on the first day. After uh, day one. You only tripped once today that I saw. No, it was five times. Five times today, but how many was on day one? Yeah, it was in the 30s. It was a lot. You just came up with 30. We did not. We counted. I was there. Thank you. No, I think few ankles rolled. We have... Uh, who has blisters? Not me. Oh, even more than I thought. Yeah, four or five with uh, blisters on their feet. It doesn't help when it uh, the trail is wet and your feet get wet and you're hiking in wet uh, socks and shoes. But as you can see, we have lots of shoes around the fire right now. A few of them have been burned, but none too bad. 
Now we're just chilling by the fire. Subscribe and smash that like button. We got phase one done of day three. We are a little less than halfway to lunch. How was your day been so far, Bennett? Good. Trips? Good. Just playing good. Two trips, but... Two trips? Okay. A few, okay. That's all right. It's good. Hey -o. Hey -o. When hiking, always look out for food sources. Show us what we found, Ethan. These are blueberries, as you can tell. Because they're blue and they're berries. Yes. And they're delicious. Yes. Okay, I gotta get some of this too. Okay. Oh, those are sweet. Yeah, these are like actually good ripe ones. Yeah. Let's go. Share with everyone, right? There are a lot oh, here. No. Wow. Oh my gosh, there's a million even up here. Delicious. Oh man, this one isn't fully ripe and there's a hole in it. That's right. You're not supposed to look at them before you eat them. Some people don't pay attention while they walk. They just walk really fast and don't notice things. I prefer to saunter along and see the trail. You saunter on? I saunter on. I'm just gonna get this. Need blueberries, Jones. There's a lot. We made it to lunch on day three. Good job. Smash that like button. Of course. No, I can't Garbage just wasted all our water, so now we have none. We have none. I'm screwed. We're all out. Everyone's gonna dehydrate, wither away. I have water. Sweet. This is what it's come to. The deforester here is pumping water from a puddle. We're all gonna die. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. made it to our last checkpoint before picnic point. Some people carrying their packs, are you carrying your pack still? Yeah. Nice. Good job, Ben. Left the kids to the last couple miles. I hop in a van, the kids and a couple of the adults, and I head to Walmart in Medford to get ready for the feast, so. More to come. We have made it to our final destination, which is called Picnic Point. It's a group campsite. It is, it is feast day. So we have corn on the cob that we soaked in the lake and I'm cooking here. I gotta turn that right away. We've got broken hot dogs that I'm pretty sure no one's gonna eat. We've got baked potatoes cooking in there. I know some of them are We've got chips. That's what our corn looks like. There is not sour cream. I forgot sour cream, but nobody told me to buy it. Yeah, no, when I had did. the list out, no, we all so did. I never wrote it down, so I did not get it. Ridiculous. And then, of course, we have lots of dessert things. I'll show you that later. Dave, um, can you open this? Nobody on this table can open it. Open what? This. Well, that's ridiculous. Be stronger. Milana can do it. She's. Oh, you use the shirt. Thank you, Mom. Brayden, I'm sorry. How was your experience so far? Good. But he didn't get sour cream. Who has a tip outside of cream? Smash that like button. And subscribe. And comment, do same people actually have big potatoes without sour cream? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They don't. Okay. Cats. Cats is definitely gonna win. Would you rather drown or go up in flames? Drown. Would you rather drown, drown or go up in flames? Oh, a drown. Give me my stick. Drown or go up in flames? Drown. Drown or go up in flames? Drown. Drowns are drowned or go up in flames. Flames. You're weird. Fire. <laughs> drowned or go up in flames. Definitely drown, but they both sound unpleasant. Well, drowned or go up in flames. Go up in flames, so then I have a story to tell. Hey. Uh, my man. I don't dead. think you'd say that. When drown or go up in flames. Uh, drowned. Drown or go up in flames. Drown. For sure. Okay. Would you rather go, drown or go up in flames? Drown. Mm, okay. Okay. Would you rather drown or go up in flames? Oh yeah, my potato probably needs to come off. Um, like I said, just grab one. I hate water. Mine is the little one. So maybe flames? Oh, did somebody take mine already? Okay. okay. You want this one? No, mine is a, I want the littler ones. One of was these. Was that one of the little ones? Potato Dahlia. But mine was like... Would you rather drown or go up in flames? Somebody must have taken mine. Drown. Tula. Who ate my potato? Okay. Okay. Check. 
Huh. Would you rather get drowned? Would you rather drown or go up in flames? Um, drown. Okay. Go up in flames. Okay. Jared. Would you rather go up in flames or drown? Drown. Chris. Drown or go up in flames? I can't pick one. <laughs> uh, I would never drown because I'm a lifeguard. And going up in flames sounds too painful. <laughs> so I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Drown or go up in flames? Drowning scares me. So flames? Flames. Okay. Did you know that you feel your eyes melt through your head? Would you rather drown or go up in flames? Uh, neither. Gotta pick one. Um, I don't know. Like, I guess go up in flames. Okay. Oh hi. <laughs> what you doing? Where? Trying to open the rats and I can't get in. Ah, I think I did. Okay. Good enough for me. Stop throwing it at me. Here we go. It's a banana boat. How is it? Good. Very good. Oh, my, marshmallow my first burn. banana boat. Yeah? Nice. I didn't have one last year. You're my favorite. It was excellent. Oh, oh banana boat. Banana Come boat. Oh, so see, it's, it's perfect. Uh, yes, it is. Careful sitting there because I think there's marshmallows. Did you, did you show, no, did you show this really? when, you, when you said that? Yeah. <laughs> Hola! Soy Dora! Can you find my patience? <laughs> This is what it's like backpacking with middle school I students. <laughs> morning. Hi. This is the morning crew. Bigger. I'm bleeding. I burned myself. What did you do? With what fire? Well, when there was I was fire, doing a saw. With the hmm. This is saw the wood, not your fingers. I know. Just a hazard of camping. It'll be fine. Breakfast, bagels over the fire. Always delicious. Yeah. Huh? Except when you burn yours. Except when you burn them. <laughs> Whoops. So, what's your trail name? Scooby Doo. And why is your trail name Scooby Doo? Because I guess my eyebrows or like ash or something and it looked like Scooby Doo's. Cause you put ash on your eyebrows? I didn't put them there. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Doo eyebrows. You do. What is it now? Tigger. It used to be Midway and now it's Tigger. Why is it Tigger? Because on the last campsite I was trying to break wood and Jared found a spot on a tree where you could stick it in. I was jumping on it to see if it would break. And you were bouncing very high. Uh huh. Cause it you wouldn't break. Nice. I don't You're know Omega. why I have it. Why is your name Omega? I don't know. Hey, did you know that Omega is the last letter in the Greek alphabet? Yes, I did. Well, actually... It's actually that because they are so saying because you usually at the end of the pack. However, really, Shay sometimes was, but she used bugs and yeah. you can't change that. So you're Omega. Okay. And Omega sounds cool, so it works. Yeah. I don't know. Swiper. 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 Oh, yeah. Swiper, no swiper. Why is it swiper? Because I I, I took a couple of snacks. Couple. Yeah. Couple. He, he kept on a taking couple. the cosmic brownies. Like all of them. No. <laughs> we have made it to Martino's. After every long trip, you have to go somewhere fun. If you're ever in Stanley, Wisconsin, this place is awesome. We go get our pizzas. I gotta back up because it's getting crowded. You didn't time it right. So we're gonna go get some pizza, and then we're on our way home. Yeah. Time to everything right. Jones is too excited to get going. This is, Jones says that this is better than Christmas. Better than Christmas. Jones Best day of the year. Yep. We've gotten our Martinez pizza. And Katie's prepared to eat it. <laughs> My gosh, I don't know, look at your map. Don't talk to me, Ben. Yes! And make sure to like and subscribe. Of course. Come on fish camp. Wait. Subscribe and smash that like button. <laughs> I'll have to put a whole highlight reel at the end just for Lily's subscribe and <laughs> smashing like buttons. Smash that like button. Subscribe, smash that like button. How's it going? Subscribe, smash that like button.
Subscribe and smash that like button. Oh, and then Subscribe, smash that like button. Subscribe. Good job. Smash that like button. Who has a tip outside smash of Smash that like button. And subscribe. <laughs> and comment, do same people actually have big tails without sour cream? <laughs> subscribe and smash that like button. <laughs> subscribe and smash that like button. 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 Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. She's so weird.